longer take care of the video that I've actually wanted to do for quite some time. And of course, this is on my well-known favorite company, Busby. Now, little background. I am, of course, probably the biggest fan of Busby. Now, as a fan of the company, if you really are a fan of something, you want to see it improve. Now, that's what the topic of this video is, of course, as you can see by the title. My top five things I'd like to see Busby do to improve. Little backstory first, though. Why do I like Busby? Well, back in the day, when I was still in school, I did a lot of airsoft and paintball. I had a group of friends, we did it all the time. Like We did airsoft paintball multiple times per week. A couple of us decided to pick up some blasters. You know, as, as everybody it is and does, when you're growing up, you mostly buy Nerf. Well, I decided to pick up this thing I've seen on the shelf. It was from a brand I'd never seen before. To me, it was just an off-brand. Turns out that was a Busby double shot. I actually picked that thing up in like late 2004, and a few of us who were playing Airsoft Paintball decided to incorporate dart blasters into our group. And now, here I am today. I actually still own that exact same double shot. You've seen it in my uh, Classics episode on the double shot. And that blaster was the, the whole reason I got back into blasters since I was a kid. And led all the way up into, well, me doing this video. And that has stuck with me. You know, that, that old Busby double shot. And not only that, but when I was a customer, before my YouTube channel ever existed in the way of Nerf content, I actually had very, very good interactions with Busby as a customer before I ever did my first video related to Nerf. They were a throwback per se, to an old, older time where customer service was like the number one thing that a company cared about. Retaining the customer through taking care of any issues that popped up. In my case, I was just trying to figure out how to get more shells. And of course, they sent me the, the old order form that they still do. They actually mailed me one. And I mailed a check back and got myself some extra shells. That's what I was trying to do, was find out how to get more shells. And that was back now going on 10 years ago and ever since then I've had very good interactions with them leading up to the point where now I actually do have some direct interactions with them and I have a very good impression of them as a company and the people who were there in that company which even more so having a close tie to them makes me want to see them go back to the days say 2015 16 17 when they were the biggest challenger to nerf now, here over the last two years, you'd probably put Primetime Toys, who makes Dirt Zone, as currently the biggest challenger, at least in the performance side of things. But overall, you know, Busby is kind of still the, the same all-around challenger to Nerf, because they both focus on more of the family level. You know, fun, fun blasters that aren't necessarily aimed at the 150 FPS market the 14 plus well busby has you know even to me as the biggest fan they have kind of fallen a step down over the last year to two years you know especially from that heyday in 2017 18 19 where they were really doing some some great things you had precise pros you had the thermal hunter you had the zenith pistol which is one of the best they've ever made you had still on the shelves you still had uh, the reaper you had a broad variety of blasters that you would actually say were among the best in their categories. You would put a Thermal Hunter up against something like a Retaliator, and there were a lot of points where you'd say the Thermal Hunter is the better blaster. It was pump action, had smoother function. I did a video on the uh, Tactical Storm versus the Retaliator, and functionality-wise, the Tactical Storm is the better blaster. You know, it still is today, which you can get as the Exterminator through Dollar General. That is actually still, if you were to look at a functional, you know, one versus one standpoint, it's the better blaster. But there's an issue with the Exterminator, and I'm going to touch on that in my, my uh, five topics here. So why would I, even though I am probably the biggest fan, why would I want to point out the flaws or things that they need to work on? Well, 
much like a diehard sports fan, they can tell you, ask any sports fan, ask them what their favorite team is, ask them the things that that team is good at or bad at, and they will be able to give you a list. As a football fan, I used to play myself, you'd say, you ask about the favorite team. They'll tell you, this corner's not that great. Our tailback, you know, he can run great, but he can't catch out of the backfield. Or our left guard, man, he can't, he can't slide block to, do, to save his life. If he has to jump over to help the, the tackle, he's doomed. You know, they would give you a list. And they'd say, we got to get this person in the offseason, this person, this person. we got to get rid of that coach. You know, they would give you a list of things to improve. So that's what I'm going to do here. Now, looking overall, one of the biggest things that's not very glamorous, but it would help Busby drastically, is distribution to improve the distribution of their blasters. Now, they're, they're mostly at the mercy of retailers. I've actually spoken with Busby, and they, they have their products put out there, and retailers kind of get to pick what they want to sell, which can be very, very limited. That's why, like for instance, now with Kmart biting the dust, you've seen Dollar General kind of has been one of the bigger uh, retailers for Busby products. Now, looking at that, that leaves Busby at the mercy of a lot of variables. And I would love to see them fix that. The distribution issues where, like for instance, I've got this uh, revolution here. The best place to get it is either Menards on, you know, on the internet or your local Dollar General if you're going to try to go walk in and pick one up. That's, and that is something you kind of have to hunt for. Even more so, the uh, new boss, a lot of people can't find these. This one in my hand here is actually headed to Trip Miller, who runs Radioactive Designs. That's his. I actually had to go around to five different Dollar Generals before I found one in stock. Because I was actually also wanting to pick up uh, two others for someone else, and another one for me to mod. So to get three Busby bosses, I had to go to five stores over a period of about three weeks. That's not great. You know, a lot of people aren't going to put that effort into trying to find something that they're looking for. If they can't get it, they're going to say, well, I'll just buy something else. So something that Busby could do, because I want to be constructive with my criticism here and offer a solution. Well, and Busby probably has already thought of solutions to some of these. But Busby, if they could have a better presence online, where you could buy things from... Walmart right now sells only the Adventure Force models that Busby makes. But somebody online needs to be a bigger retailer for Busby. Even Busby themselves. I would love to see all blaster companies sell things online directly. Eliminate the middleman completely. Forget the retailers. You know, forget Target, Walmart, Dollar General, all that. Just sell things directly. If you want a Busby product, punch in BusbyToys.com. Go there and put things in the cart, order it up. That would be, I mean, that's a lot of work for a company who's, you know, a small company, actually. But, man, would that be nice. Being able to, like I say, instead of having to hunt down something to send it to somebody who can't find it in their area, which people have done from myself. My very first revolution came from David Bolak. And he lives halfway across the country because he got them when I couldn't find one. Now I can, but it's like things like that. That has to, that really should be improved before Busby can really take a step up. You know, we don't. I don't want to see him go the way of Boomco. So that's distribution and supply issues. That's one thing. Now, another thing. Moving on would be one thing that a few years ago. Again, I already talked about this. They had products, you know, Busby was making blasters that you would put as at least equal to or better than some of the other products that were out on the market. The Thermal Hunter was one that I touched on. The Monorail is a very unique blaster. It actually still is a carryover from the Alex Brands days. It came out right along there with the Thermal Hunter, the Interceptor, the Zenith. 
those blasters, like the monorail, like the Zenith, like the Sentry, which is still out there, like the Busby Destiny, one of the best air-powered blasters that has ever been made, in my opinion. At least, you know, from the big four. And those blasters were top quality. I'd love to see new top quality blasters, like with even better uh, plastic, you know, just simply the plastic. Better plastic, you know, better features, but a top quality, you know, on par with Nerf, on par with with Dart Zone's most recent offerings, you know, right up there. So new, high quality products, because even me, I could say, if you look at something like the Frantic Fury, my very first Frantic Fury that I reviewed, that I got, Busby sent it to me, I gave it a negative review, because I felt like it wasn't up to par. They actually remade that blaster itself and came out with the mellow yellow version which is what i nicknamed it and it was significantly improved well it would have been nice if the first one was like that but i would like to see them not necessarily be that level of quality i want to see them be the brute the sentinel the destiny the thermal hunter that level of quality or better and along with that i'd like to see them do a limited edition or you know, special edition kind of thing, where, you know, they have a little bit higher grade, and maybe a little higher price range, but it's something that's kind of like Nerf's Icon series. You know, they bring back some of those blasters and put them under a limited edition where, yes, the plastic's thicker, the materials are a higher grade, maybe they have a, a couple more features, like if the uh, some of the blasters that come back, maybe they've got you know, multi-position extendable stocks that are really solid. Maybe they have even, this would be kind of nice and unusual in the blaster world, like textured grips with rubberized inserts, you know, that just make them look, feel, and perform better. You know, metal internals. I know Busby's not big on that, but they did do a metal, a metal lever on the Sentinel. You know, other things like that. I'd love to see them do a limited edition or special editions. Tying into that, if they're not going to do the special or limited editions, I'd love to see some of their great blasters return. That's something that they could do pretty easily. I've already named a bunch of them. Like the Thermal Hunter, the Zenith, the, the Tyrant. The Tyrant, to me, I listed this thing as the best Mega Blaster ever made. And I still stand by that. This thing is a 12 round magazine fed top prime me mega firing in their their terms air max but this thing was a very solid blaster. Now I would like to see it come with a stock attachment point that would be great and if it's going to remain top prime how about extend out the front just a little bit make it to where you have a, a rail that'd be nice or put a rail on the side couple changes, you know, things like that. But bring back the great blasters of the past. That is something that they could do easily. You know, if they still have the molds and, and the production capability, well, just restart those production lines. And it's easy for me to say standing here doing a video, I'm not actually having to coordinate the production of something. But if they still have the ability to produce the blaster, just bring it back. Bring it back and put nice color schemes which, you know, tied in to, you know, better quality blasters. I'd love to see good color schemes. Some of the wild ones are going to, you know, be favorable to some people, but I'd love to see, like, some real classy color schemes. The Thermal Hunter, the Interceptor, that whole series came out with half the line was, like, precision-based and was packaged with Precise Pros, and it had the red, white, black color scheme that looked really good. The other side of the line, like the Interceptor, the Monorail, and the uh, recoloring of the uh, Reaper, those all came with a blue, white, and black, and it looks sharp. How about that? You know, bring some of those great blasters back, bring some of those nice color schemes back. Just something to think about. Now, moving on, my last two things. This second one, it might be... I might be leaving it as a second to last year, but I think it's the most important. 
ergonomics. Bosby has proved they could do good ergonomics. Some of their most recent blasters have good ergonomics. Got one right here, the Power Mac. This is a recent release. It was sent to Target in one color scheme and it was sent elsewhere with another color scheme. This grip is fine. It's basically an updated Tommy 20 and outside of the stock being too short, the four, the four grip is fine and the pistol grip is quite good. That is one that they could easily take, take into account, make it, and one that I think has the best grip of any of the Busby Blasters of recent note is Abraham's M16. It was in their Walking Dead series, and I have said that was the best grip that they put on a blaster. Throw that on everything. Or the Revolution. The Revolution, I just showed it here earlier in this video, that thing has a nice grip, it's comfortable to use, Put that grip on everything and the uh the pump grip on the zenith yes it's a pistol with a pump grip that pump grip was also used on the barbarian that forward pump grip is one of the best out there so they've made good ergonomics but they don't consistently do that because at the same time you have something like abraham's m16 or the pump grip on the zenith they also have where the thermal hunter had too short of a grip it's like my pinky misses it. It's like it, it doesn't get it doesn't get to use a grip. But picture if every blaster Busby had had Abraham's M16 grip and every pump action used the same foregrip off of the Zenith or the Barbarian. That would be awesome. I mean picture a thermal hunter with the Abraham's M16 grip and the Barbarian's pump. That would be amazing. So ergonomics is something that I think Busby needs to take extremely seriously and work on it. I've actually told them that. I told them directly they need to just take the design straight out of their CAD program on Abraham's M16 and stick it on everything. I think that would cure a lot of people's issue because then you could comfortably hold all Busby blasters without having to have a hand that I don't know whose hand they use to model for the their ergonomics but they have proven that they could do it it just need to be consistent with it across their entire uh, line of products last but not least yes i think they should bring back a lot of good blasters they should bring back the precise pros but we all know the number one thing that they need to do is bring the sentinel back that is the number one thing busby needs to do is bring this thing back and this is one of the ones i was thinking they bring it back main complaint that stock's too short imagine if they brought it back with higher grade plastic and a multi-position adjustable stock that didn't creak didn't wobble when you pulled it out it stayed out it didn't accidentally collapse but imagine like plastic that's twice as thick as the original had interlocking joints to where they didn't creak and the stock adjusted and adjusted way out hmm sounds perfect then throw a rail on the top that would be amazing because i know everybody loves the sentinel i know i i've just modified another one you guys got to see it my new personal build this thing i love it I wouldn't part with it for anything. If I were to get out of the hobby, I'd still keep that as my favorite. Because it's one of my absolute favorite blasters ever that I've modded. But that's my five things in detail of what I would like to see Busby work on to improve. Because, yes, I'm a fan of them. I, I'm not going to hide that. I never have. People think that I'm highly biased because of it. But no, I'm actually... As, like I use the example of a sports team fan, you're the hardest on what you like because you want to see it improve. You want to see it become even better than what it is or you want to see it recapture the glory days. And that's why I am with Busby. I would love to see my favorite company step it up and become what we all thought that they were going to be in 2017. You go back five years, they look like they were going to overtake Nerf in the next few years. Now, of course, 
we've seen that Dart Zone, who's made by Primetime Toys, they've stepped it up and become, at least on the performance end, the, the forerunner. And X Shots actually still, they're still there. And Busby is kind of there while Nerf's fallen, fallen down a bit. I would love to see Busby get back right into the mix of things. And I think they can. I think that they just need to make a few changes. And I, I do believe behind the scenes they're trying. And of course, with the world and what things happened, I think some of the things have fallen through that they really were looking forward to. But what we can hope for is that things, are, things change, things move forward, and that we see some improvements because I don't want to see another Boomco situation. I want to see a Dart Zone situation where a company who was just kind of there all of a sudden exploded. I mean, that that's just a win-win for everybody if all of a sudden you got Dart Zone doing great things, you got X-Shot who's doing things behind the scenes, we've seen, we're seeing them uh, try some new things, but imagine if Busby all of a sudden became like they were in 2017 all over again, but even better. That's just a win-win for everybody. And that's what I want to see. I want to see I want to see Busby right back at the forefront. But there's Mungo Shake with the things I'd like to see Busby improve on and change for the future so that they can get back there. But hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.